Good day everyone, welcome to our TLE 7 class, quarter 1, week 8. Today, we are going to create spreadsheets with conditional formatting and data analysis. For our short review, analyze each scenario and identify what Excel function can be used. Scenario 1. You have a spreadsheet of employee data with columns for name, department, salary, and years of experience. You need to quickly see the top 10 earners in the sales department. Now what function of Excel can we use? Yes, very good it is sorting function. Scenario 2. You have a list of customer addresses with columns for city, state, and zip code. You need to quickly identify all customers who live in a specific state. What function of Excel can we use? Yes, very good we can use grouping. Scenario 3. You have a spreadsheet of sales data with columns for date, region, and sales amount. You want to quickly see the total sales for each region across different months. What function of Excel can we use? Yes, very good, we can use filtering. Scenario 4. You are creating a form where users can enter a date. You want to ensure that they enter a valid date within a specific range, e.g., between January 1st and December 31st. Now what function of Excel can we use? Yes, very good we use data validation. Imagine you're managing a project with a deadline. You want to quickly identify tasks that are on track, behind schedule, or at risk of being late. How could you visually highlight these different statuses in your spreadsheet? We can use a handy tool in Excel called Conditional Formatting to do just that. Conditional formatting in Microsoft Excel is like giving your spreadsheet special powers to change the way it looks based on certain conditions or rules you set. Imagine it like magic colors that appear when certain things happen in your spreadsheet. What is conditional formatting? Conditional formatting is a feature in Excel that lets you change the appearance of cells based on certain conditions. For example, you can make a cell turn red if the number in it is less than 50 or turn green if it's greater than 75. How to use conditional formatting? First, select the cells you want to apply conditional formatting to. Then, go to the Home tab on the Excel ribbon. Next, look for the Conditional Formatting option. It might be under the Styles group. In my case, here is the Conditional Formatting tab in the Style group. Click on it, and you'll see a bunch of different rules you can choose from, like Highlight Cells rules or Top, Bottom rules. Here are the types of Conditional Formatting. 1. Highlight Cells rules. These rules let you choose how to format cells based on their values. 2. Top, Bottom Rules. These rules let you format cells that are in the top or bottom percentages or numbers in your data. 3. Data Bars, Color Scales, and Icon Sets. These options let you visually represent your data using bars, colors, or icons. Data bars show the relationship of values in a cell range. Extends a band of color across the cell. Examples are comparisons of prices or populations in the largest cities. Data bars can help you spot the highest and lowest numbers in your spreadsheets at a glance. Color scales show the relationship of values in a cell range. Applies a color scale where the intensity of the cell's color reflects the value's placement toward the top or bottom of the range. An example is sales distributions across regions. Icon sets. A cell range that contains three to five groups of values, where each group has its own threshold. For example, you might assign a set of three icons to highlight cells that reflect scores below 80, below 70 and below 60. Or you might assign a five-point rating system for mobile phones and apply a set of five icons. 4. Creating your own rules. If none of the preset rules suit your needs, you can create custom rules. This allows you to specify exactly what conditions should trigger the formatting you want. Now, let's try to create a table for the following datasets. 1. Let's say you have a list of test scores with 50 items. 
you can use conditional formatting to make scores above 30 turn green and scores below 25 turn red. First, we have to highlight the scores. Then go to the conditional formatting and click highlight cell rules. Then click greater than. Let's start to turn the scores green when the scores are above 30. Let's put 30 here. It says greater than 30. In the format width, let's choose light green fill with dark text. And click OK. As you can see the scores above 30 turns green. Now for the scores below 25. First, highlight the scores. And then go to conditional formatting. On the highlight cell rules, click less than. Then put 25 beside less than menu. And on the format width, choose light red fill with dark text. And click OK. As you can see, scores below 25 are highlighted in red, while scores above 30 are marked in green. Scores ranging from 25 to 30 remain uncolored in white. This illustrates how the highlight cell rules of conditional formatting are applied. 2. You have a budget spreadsheet. You can use conditional formatting to highlight expenses that exceed a certain amount. In this budget spreadsheet, we can utilize data bars to visually emphasize expenses that exceed the planned amounts compared to the actual spending. This allows for a clear representation of where costs are surpassing expectations. So you see, the negative numbers are represented by red bars extending to the left, indicating that the planned amounts exceed the actual spending. 3. Create a summary of the number of students in every section from grade 7 to grade 10. Another column for the number of boys and girls. Apply the conditional formatting using data bars to see the difference per section. You can choose any bar, gradient fill or solid fill. In my case, let's choose this. 4. You are monitoring the heat index of your city or municipality. Create a table of everyday heat index result for one month. Use color scales to monitor the results. Five, make an inventory of snacks in the school canteen. Include the gross amount sales per day. Use the icon sets to identify the profitable items and not profitable. So let's go to the conditional formatting and click icon sets. And for example, let's click here more rules. And you can change the preferred icon here. Now, let's proceed to our next topic, which is the data analysis feature in Excel. Analyze data in Excel empowers you to understand your data through natural language queries that allow you to ask questions about your data without having to write complicated formulas. In addition, Analyze Data provides high-level visual summaries, trends, and patterns. How to use the Analyze Data feature in Excel? Method 1. Using Pivot Tables to Analyze Data. Select your whole dataset from the worksheet and click the Analyze Data option from the Home tab. There will be a task pane on the right of your worksheet. Under Discover Insights click Insert Pivot Table. A new sheet will be created with the Pivot Table. You can also get Pivot Chart options of different types from this feature. Choose Insert Pivot Chart. A new sheet will be created with a Pivot Chart. You can also include this in the field name in the pivot chart fields. You can also just insert chart to analyze data. Click insert chart and a new chart will appear.
There is also insert pivot chart in the option. Click it and a new sheet with a pivot chart will appear.